Hey everyone, this is Angel from Epic's Gaming with a brand new video for Resident Evil Village. And in this video, I will show you my gameplay for the Triple S rank in Village 2 for the Mercenaries Arcade mode in Resident Evil Village. I will let the gameplay run and do commentary on key moments along the way that make the difference in terms of inventory, time management, or triggers. There are timestamps in the description of the video and you can play it as well, and subtitles in case you don't understand my accent. My loadout for the first area is focusing on upgrading the power of the Lemmy handgun to level 5 and rate of fire to level 2 and then buying the Magnum. This will allow the handgun to be a useful weapon instead of a useless metal scrap and the other weapon I'll use is the Magnum, saving it for some of the heaviest enemies so I can take them down quickly and don't lose my combo. Ok, let's start with area number 1. First part is pretty straightforward, just try to survive while keeping your distance from the enemies. And when you have the chance, go for the first blue orb. On this occasion, I choose Magic Magazine. I usually don't pick this and prefer going for power and health abilities. But there is no other option here, perhaps Fickle Shooter would be a good option, but due to the lack of upgrades for the pistol, I go for this one for now. The thing that I start to use in future mercenaries run that you will be seeing later is shooting the skinny dudes in the legs so they stumble and that lets you focus on the really dangerous lichens instead of wasting time on them. For this part until the yellow orb, you just need to shoot everything that comes your way. Here on this yellow orb section, leave one of the skinny dudes alive and go to the right for the blue orb at the far back. The reason I do this is that if you kill the one that is lying down on the floor by the orb and try to keep the combo alive, you have to do a mad dash and right now we don't have the agile ability to do that, which actually pops right now, but we prep for the worst case scenario. We kill the skinny dude and go down while we switch the magnum for the first armor dude. Remember, do a body shot, not a headshot, because a headshot will blow the helmet but leave him alive. Now turn right and continue killing enemies until you reach the pillar area. Now I'm gonna do something a little bit risky here. I grab the pipe bomb, then take down the skinny man for the combo and start doing damage to the armor gun. Then I use the pipe bomb and finish him off with a pistol. I could have used a magnum bullet, but I'm trying to save at least two bullets for using them in the second area. Now finish up the skinny guys and use the magnum for the other armor gun. Grab the blue orb. Here we have a pair of good options with gruesome gourmet for HP recovery and corpse combustor. Both options are really good but during my runs I found myself failing more due to the lack of healing rather than being overwhelmed by enemies. So at least for village 2 this is a good option. We are now at the mid 20s so we just need to manage the rest of the enemies, go for the yellow orb at the back and keep the combo alive. And that's it, area 1, 30 enemies, 30 combo, and don't forget the mine sitting there in the bench before you leave. That's 300k score.
For shopping round number 2, I fully upgrade the fire rate, power and reload speed for the handgun. I don't touch ammo capacity because the reload speed is so insane that it's not even worth it. Instead, I use the rest of the money to buy some extra pipe bombs. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Till next we meet. Now area number two. Let's go down, grab the items here, and then go for the yellow orb to the left. Now the key to this whole area is to keep moving and keep strafing. You don't want to be hit by those archers, so always be on the move while you shoot. A great safe spot is passing the tree and hiding under this wood plank. Here you can pick the archers and continue building up the combo. When you have dealt with the two on top, do a 180 and go for the orb at the back. Slow motion can really help with the speed of the archer's attack, so I go for that one. The skinny we left behind is great for keeping up the combo and then climb to the left for the second orb. The best option here is Pistol Master for the extra handgun damage. Kill the final archer, drop and go uphill to the left for the next yellow orb. Switch to the Magnum and body shot the armor dude. Keep ahead and start dealing with the archers as you go up. Blow the barrel and then kill the remaining lycan. Look left and take down the archer. And then the lycan down the hall. Now switch to the magnum and now we are using both bullets against both armor dudes. Immediately go far left for the stairs and break the orb upstairs. The execution ability is absolutely necessary if you want to make chaining combos easier, so grab it whenever you have a chance. Kill the archer across, do a 180 and go for the other one, and now the final wave of lichens. Don't forget to keep moving and target the archers at the end. Amazing. That's it, 23 enemies, 23 combo and over a half a million points. Shopping round number 3, we're only 100,000 points away from Doles, and I'm going to sell the mine from area number 1 and the magnum to get some extra cash. The handgun will remain untouched as I don't want any extra upgrades, so all the cash that is left I will use it on pipe bombs and an extra medicine just in case I get in a tight spot. This is all an investment, Ethan. I can see why you'd be interested in that. Thank you for your patronage. Oh. 
Okay, start area number three. Don't go for the orb because you will be hit by the skinny guys. Deal with them first and then go for the orb. Breakshot is another great ability option, especially if you combine it with Pistol Master and Execution. Do a 180 and strafe while you hit the archers on top of the house. Now deal with the skinny and robo guy, and as a general rule of thumb here, anytime you see a robo guy, use a pipe bomb and follow up with handgun shots. Once you hit 8 enemies in your counter, go inside the house and take the next three. You could use a pipe bomb here, but it is wise to save as many as possible for the end or the big guy. Go outside, take one skinny down, and then head right for the yellow orb. Go back and climb the stairs while knocking enemies. Another group of skinnies will be spawning by the entrance. Use a pipe bomb here, but keep an eye on the health of Robo Guy because as soon as he is dying, you need to get out of there through the basement. Grab the blue orb only if you have the agile ability or lightning speed ability. Rush out of the basement and kill the skinny in front of the house to keep the combo alive. Then shoot the barrel inside the house to knock all enemies except for the robo guy that needs to be taken care of so you can grab the blue orb. Corpse Combustor is great to save a lot of bullets, but it's very rare for it to trigger, so it's not that great of an option. Get outside and either go down the road for a group of skinnies by the river, or back where you came from to take down the archers. If you go for the archers, there is a yellow orb to the left of the basement exit, but only go for it if you are fast enough. Head back to the river and you will find one by the block road and explode the barrel to blast the three enemies there. Shoot any wall still alive and use all the pipe bombs on the big wolf. Finally, 180 and head down the river for the last archer. And there you have it, 32 enemies, 32 combo, 890k score for the triple S score. If this video was useful, don't forget to check out the Mercenaries playlist right here where I help you out with achieving at least double S score in all levels so you can get the lightsaber. Hope this is useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.